You guys ever go to the South? They got freaky women down there. There was a woman down there asked me for hot monkey sex one night. I didn't know what the hell she meant by it, but when a woman says, let's have sex, whatever she says before that, you agree to. So if a girl says, hey, do you want to come with me and join the Communist Party and then we'll fuck? All right, lead the way, comrade. <laughs> Earn my red wings. <laughs> That's a shitty pun, I'm sorry. But she, this lady down south, she's like, hey, let's go back to your hotel room. Let's have some hot monkey sex all night. Hot monkey sex. I'm like, all right. So I went back, and she gets up on the bed. She's like, oh, come on, baby. Hot monkey sex. I want give me some hot monkey sex. I had no idea what the hell she was talking about. So I got up on the bed, started doing her doggy style, and I shit in my hand and threw it at her. <laughs> And after we're done, we snuggle all night and I pick shit out of her hair. <laughs> oh, lighten up. It's not real. I didn't really shit in my hand and throw it at some girl. I'm freaking Norwegian from Northeast Iowa. I'm not coordinated enough to shit, throw, and fuck. <laughs> Played offensive line in college. All I could do is that. <laughs> That's the thing, they're like, oh, did you get a lot of chicks when you played football in college? I'm like, no, I was an offensive lineman. No girl wants the offensive lineman. I mean, there's no girl sitting up at the uni dome going, oh, God, I really want to fuck that left tackle. <laughs> oh, look at the way his little stomach falls out over his belt. I want to put my fist in his belly button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's, that's where I'm at. I come back to Iowa and... Everybody says, well, you can't do harsh comedy here. These people can't take that. I'm like, what the hell ever? They created me. <laughs> I'm the dirtiest son of a bitch out there, and I'm homegrown, Iowa boy. This corn-fed motherfucker's gone through some shit, you know? You come back, look for a job in Iowa. If you want to get a day job, the only thing that was open was a custodian at the adult bookstore in LaPorte Road. <laughs> I went to college and I'm now mopping up jizz. <laughs> but in the ad, it said experience preferred. So I didn't apply because my biggest fear wasn't becoming a jizz mopper. My biggest fear was not getting the job. <laughs> Where do you turn? How do you put a reference like that into unemployment? I applied for a jizz mopper. Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> But everybody wants me to meet a nice girl because the last fiance I had in Las Vegas, everybody's like, why don't you bring your, your, uh, your girlfriend home ever? Why don't... I'm like, she's half Puerto Rican, half Jewish. I can't take her home to my Lutheran grandmother down in central Iowa. That'll kill her. Hey, hey, here, here's my brown titty dancer girlfriend who killed Jesus, grandma. This is the one that's going to marry. <laughs> She'll carry on the Chernagel name. <laughs> but it, this is the weird thing is that everybody tries to hook me up with a nice girl. And I don't like nice girls. Like, I, I like the dirty girls. I go to church on Sundays. Nice old ladies come over. Wow, you seem like such a nice young gentleman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am a nice young gentleman. Well, do you have yourself a little girlfriend or a little wife? No, ma'am, I haven't. I haven't been blessed with something like that in my life as of yet. Well, we know these nice girls here. There's a nice girl over there. I know her parents. That's a nice, nice girl. Go get a cup of coffee with her, a piece of pie with her. That's a nice, nice girl. What about that girl over there? Oh, you don't want her. Everybody in town's had her. I haven't yet. Hook me up with that. <laughs> I don't want the virgin. I have enough trouble teaching my friends how to play card games when they're drunk. I don't want to do that shit. Give me the whore. That's my brand, you know, because I'm, I, I, when you're growing up here, everybody wants you to, when you're a big guy, your obligation to your hometown people is to marry a big girl so you can have big kids so they can play for the Big Ten or the Big 12. I mean, that's what I'm supposed to do. I have to put my seed in some big German girl from Kasuth County so we have that big, huge kid, you know? And I know that's what's gonna happen. I'll date all those whores in Vegas and get my fun and shit and throw on girls in the South, you know? And have girls in New York pee on me, call me a little square head piggy and all that sorts of stuff. And that was cool, that was pretty cool. I like that one. But, <laughs> 
Oh, you skull. Oh, I love your eyeshadow. Oh, you square head pig. Yes, call me a piggy. But anyway. <laughs> Get a, where's the one waitress with the little curly hair? Can I get one more of them scotchies? Scotchies. But I know I have to meet that nice Iowa, nice Midwest big girl with the big hips. Come home for Christmas and we'll meet downtown Fairbank, Iowa at Haas's. And it'll be karaoke night. It'll be three fucking idiots who just got off from working on cows and smelling like it going, we all live in the yellow submarine. And I'll see this hot chick and she's big and we'll get drunk and we'll hook up, we'll start dating, then we'll go home for Christmas and everybody will encourage us to fuck like we're pandas at a zoo and stuff because we're both big, have that big kid, you know. And I'll relent, we'll get married, I'll have that big kid and then 17 years later I'll be on a football field in northeast Iowa somewhere on a Friday night Sipping scotch out of a Starbucks mug so the fucking Lutherans don't know I'm trying to get potted up. <laughs> yeah, Trinagle, he's a classy fellow. He goes to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I'll see my son. He'll be out there on that football field, and I'll see my son out there, and he'll be out there, be out there in his uniform, and I'll wave, and he'll wave back. He'll be like, there's my son out there. He'll be out there on that field in his uniform holding his fucking flute. I know that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, you Leviathan. Can't you block something? It's not that hard. <laughs>